2020. You can see my breath in the cold air. It's minus four when I came out here. Uh, it's not terribly cold. A bit of a breeze though, so that makes it kind of cold. I have to wear my gloves so they don't get too cold. My hood only takes me about three minutes to grab a colony and drag it in here. So then, you know, another minute for the round trip. So stretch that out and average five minutes for four colonies. You can do the math on, uh, you know, 100 and some 110 colonies. A lot of them are nukes, so they got three at a time. So the honey house will now be known as the bee barn. And uh, so we're going to be setting these in here. The logic behind my interlocking lids and pallets uh, has been defeated <laughs> because of my insulation. Uh, so the the runners on the pallets are just sitting on top of the insulation, which is fine. It's no big deal. Uh, it actually sticks there pretty good. And these have been sitting there for quite some time, so they're not sliding around at all. I have to get cool though. And I should be able to stack up four here. And uh, we'll see how many how many we can get in here. I try a little different configuration every year to see how it works out. Last year's worked pretty good. I'm doing something just a little different this year. So uh, it's it's kind of cold in here now, but it won't be cold for long. I wanted to cool off. Uh, for the bees because they uh, they heat it up really fast when they move in here. They're normally used to sitting outside so they get in here where there's no airflow. Uh, it's a little bit warmer and uh, they'll overheat this building pretty fast and uh, they'll make that ventilation fan come on on high speed for a long time. So anyway I better get, get at this. I'm pleased to be able to get at this today and they should be in here inside two to three hours. We should be all done. I don't know if you can hear this. I've just moved these two skids of bees in, and they're uh, they're a buzzing away in there. You can't see them. There doesn't seem to be much here from the outside, but you can hear them. Just open that lid and you'll know. <laughs> estimated but it was kind of slow going there for a little while and it's so cold I had to stop and go warm up see I got my heavy car hard on here even and I'm cold I'm cold to the bone humid I guess out here um, and uh, of course the building is cold now too it's not as super cold for a Canadian but I guess it's just the, the first cold of the season we're not come accustomed to it so I think I have 111 in here they're packed kind of a, in a goofy way but you know I got the got the nukes on top which you know I'm told that putting the nukes on top is is a good idea things are a little warmer up there um, I'm sure with this insulation we're gonna you know have pretty good success with uh, you know cold air blowing in here and not having it adversely affecting the colony. So this is what we have here. It's always hard to take pictures in here because it's kind of close quarters and uh, so I've got my wooden six framers up top here and then I have my poly six framers <coughs> starting on this row here and you probably can't hear it but I know Ian often talks about that, that hiss, that roar, that hum. They're all out here wondering what in the world is going on. And that's what I hear, is that hum.
so I have to come and take all the entrance reducers out sometime that's not a critically important job but it uh, should should be done in the next week or so but I'm gonna go in and warm up I am just frozen to the bone out here I'm gonna sort these out and make them look a little nicer this bothers me I don't sleep at night very well but anyway I'm gonna turn the heat on in here I, I said I wasn't gonna but I'm gonna do that I don't want it too cold in here for other reasons and I think the bees will be fine so hope you guys have a good winter and I hope these bees do as well Take care and have fun.